Okay guys, this is Paul again with another video review. This one is Transformers DO4. Some, I don't understand why they put Japanese words and then American words on here. But that don't make any sense whatsoever. But this is Ramjet. Um, Henke version of Ramjet, so he's going to have some of that crazy ass... Uh, you can't really see it in there. Chrome shit. I probably shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't say shit. But I'm going to say it anyhow. But it's really nice. Um, he, this is the box. It's a box. So I'm going to open this box now. And then we'll go from there. So, Transformers <laughs> Classic, the Henke version, Hanky Panky version, whatever you want to call it, of Ramjet. Now, Ramjet is one of the seekers but he's a unique seeker uh, the light's gonna kill a lot of people you know, and that light's gonna be too little light and that works a little better um, he's one of the conehead seekers there's dirge thrust and ramjet and as i said the conehead is a little bit different than the regular seeker that we're used to actually seeing um, as you can see, really nice. The main difference between this is the color scheme. Now, I don't have the original one to compare it, so I do apologize for that, but you guys can check out um, Matrix Prime. actually did a really good review of the original um, Classics 1.0 version of this guy. Some of the biggest differ differences is the chrome. As you can see, very reflective, very shiny chrome. He also has, got, also has cr a chrome cockpit inside there. But overall, really nice color scheme. He is more G1 accurate. Nice Decepticon logos on both sides of the wings, and then if you flip it over underneath, you can kind of see that there's going to be more Decepticon symbols. Really kind of cool looking. I really like this. Real nice small Decepticon symbol right there, right on the nose. And then as you can see again, the chrome uh, cockpit seat. As you can see, very nice. Now there is some differences. I'm going to set that right there. I'm going to angle up, and I'm going to bring in the other seeker that I have. The being Acid Storm. And as you can see, Acid Storm is a little bit taller. Draw a line right across. Oh, I don't even have that pegged in all the way. Sorry. He's a little bit taller than Ramjet. He's a little bit stubby. Or, but you also notice the difference in the wing shape. I really like the way this looks. Now, that's not to say that I don't like the way acid storm looks I really like all these molds and I have decided that I am going to get all of the seekers I, I'm not impressed but Ramjet himself is a is quite an interesting character he is described as an impulsive but brave warrior who enjoys pretty much crashing into things and enemies and uh, <laughs> it's kind, kind of funny with a name like Ramjet but he doesn't think too much before he acts and Ramjack is off, often crashes into very neutral objects, creating brand new enemies in the process. Now, these oftentimes will take a huge toll on Ramjack's body, on Ramjet's body, and cause a lot of internal injuries. So he's very accident prone, in other words. Now, the original in the original Transformer series, Ramjet appears in season two. In season two, the episode was, I believe, it was Dinobot Island. Now. I looked this up and there is no really confirmation as how he gets to Earth, but it's noted that at this time the space bridge is in existence. So he more than likely came across through the space bridge itself. He he's very regular in the se second season. Um, one episode I can't remember which one it is. He goes back in time with Warpath, and he. Uh, it's 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 quite an interesting episode. It's uh, it's after I don't remember when it was. I should pull it up on Wikipedia, but I'm boring. He was in Transformers the movie, and there there was a brief stint of that. But now I am I I do have, have this written down in my notes. After the movie, Ramjet was thrown against a building and was seemingly destroyed by Ultra Mag Ultra Magnus, but makes his return in small appearances throughout the third season. The last known appearance of him is in the episode Thief of the Night. So, 
be that as it may, as I said, he is a conehead, which is different than the other seekers that we have. Now to transform him, what you want to go ahead and do first is, well first, let's take a look, he does have his missiles. I'm going to take these off, just to kind of show you what's going on. Stay tuned for a public service announcement after this video, by the way. And now you can see the Decepticon symbols at the bottom, much nicer. So the missile launcher fires very well. Here's my hand, here's the missile. Fires really well, and it's two, co two colors. You got all that in there. So I'm going to set those off to the side for right now. Then what we come over and do, I like to take these wing pieces and just bend them back just a little just to kind of get those out of the way like so. Rotate this piece up and around very nicely. Take the feet, kind of bend them down here a little and pull back. Mine's really tight at that point which is very good. Go ahead and separate those at the separate the two legs. Come right here, fold down the feet, do that on both sides and now at this point in time you can return the wings to the original position. There's a little hole here that that little peg kind of rests inside of. When you have it like that, you can then bend the wings back. Kind of having them hide a little bit more. Now the original G1, he, they just stood straight, stood straight out like that. But I like the fact that you can bend these back. Still gives the illusion that they're there. and not quite as bulky. Now this part of the transformation is pretty much identical to acid storms. You lift this section like so, come around here to the arms, there on the inside, just fold those out, just kind of get them out of the way. The headpiece, or this entire nose cone section here, separates, and then rotate that all the way around, like so. Fold it down, well first, come up here to the very tip of it, grab hold, and rotate that all the way around. You'll expose, well it's kind of hard to see, Ram Dutt's head. Fold this, the chest piece, all the way down, like so, and then bring the chest, oop, sorry guys, you have the chest piece all the way down, bring this piece down like so. And now you have him properly formed. Come around here to the, the forearms. Fold out the hands on both sides. And there you have Classics Henke Edition. Ram gun. Again, really nice figure. I really like the way this fella looks. Without having the wings here in the back, and I'll, I'll show you that when I do the comparison with the other Seeker. It actually makes it so I can put his arm cannons, null rays or whatever, in here. They're a little loose. Um, I'm not too thrilled about that, but some super glue can fix that. So here you have Ramjet. Gorgeous figure. Absolutely gorgeous. I need one of those little stands that allow you to spin this little guy. But I'm going to try and show you his face. It kind of looks like he's frowning in nice red painted eyes. Very nice figure. Now I'm going to compare him with Acid Storm. Um, because these wings are not back here, you can put these arms in here. Now as you can see from the head, now Ram Dutt's a little bit taller. Um, even, even where the face kind of lines up, maybe it's a little bit taller. Not by not by too too much, just a little. Let me try reversing these. That's a little bit better. Um, but as you can see, very nice figures. It's a retooling of this original mold. So again, I usually like those in terms of the seekers or the different repaints and things of that nature. But really cool looking. Set him off to the side same type of articulation. The the similar problem that you had with his head and rotating it, you have that again with Ram Jets. You can't really get in there and grab hold that some bitch to rotate it very well. It will rotate full 360 degrees. You have to be part of the transformation. But getting it because you got these things here makes it tough. 
The arms will rotate 360 degrees without having any problems with the wings. Like that, in and out of the body, elbows, no articulation in the waist or the wrist, but the arm legs are on a ball joint, so you back and forth, in and out, rotate, bend at the knee, little posability in the feet, but that's all it's going to really do. Again, the cannons can be held in the arms, but that just doesn't look right. Maybe not. Ooh, this one doesn't really fit in here very well. There we go. A little forcing. Never hurt anybody. So, I mean, that just doesn't look right for a seeker. I mean, it really doesn't. I, I really don't like the fact that I have to keep them in there for, the, for that guy, but... Oh well, what are you going to do? Display purposes. But, um... So here are my two seekers that I have to date. Uh, I do have more coming. I do really like them. I will be getting more. This is just cool. I, I like the G1 accuracy of this. Now get in transform them. You want to take the null ray cannons, put those off. One thing I forgot to mention, the chest piece. As you can see, he's got little turbines inside here. Those are his wheels in, robot, in vehicle mode. So if you take those and fold those in, you create the turbines, just like so. Fold them out, and you have wheels for the vehicle mode. So we're going to leave those there for now. Now what you want to do, come around here again, separate this back section, pull that back, reach in here and pull out the cockpit area, which is sometimes stiff on mine. So you're going to pull that out and extend it, rotate Ramdet's head, rotate the cockpit, and peg that right in there. Come to the hands, tuck those back into the wrists, nicely like so. Fold those down to the side, and fold them in, just like so. That's a little loose there. Pull that in just like so. Close that back up. Almost done. Come around here to these little red pieces. Rotate those. It's a little bit easier to do it like this. Rotate again. Push the legs together. Bend this part back again. So it's like so. Tuck the feet up and under. Bring these. Like I said, it's very stiff on mine. Make sure you get that nice and lined up properly. Pull the wings all the way out. Return them down. And make sure that you get these pieces lining up properly so the wings look seamless. And there you have them, guys. Of course, you can replace the wing or the the guns underneath. And there you have them. Really gorgeous figure. I absolutely love this. I cannot recommend this guy enough. If you don't have him, pick him up. I got him for $29 off of eBay. He's a little bit pricey, but he's a Hank K version of the figure. So I really kind of like that. Now, one thing that I did want to mention um, real quick, hopefully you guys are still paying attention to this video. The, the Optobotomy Show, obviously, Saturdays from noon to 2 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Tune in. We have great fun with Rodimus Prime. Um, special guest host sometimes, uh, Diancis, you guys know him. Slegos, Legos 3000, there, there's so many people, it's so very fun, yes this is a cheap plug. Um, I do not have many other reviews planned, to be honest, I have the Ultra Magnus City Commander set coming, which I am holding off, I'm not going to review that right away, so many other people actually reviewed him. The other thing that I want to mention is I am getting a new camera. Thank you very much to Matrix Prime who will be selling me it. So if you guys are familiar with the quality of his videos, that's what mine will probably be from now on. I'm going to be picking that up here in about a week and a half or so. So I'm probably not going to do many videos from now and I, ha I haven't done many. So I apologize. The Currently with a lot of you people know that I um, have a hockey store. Some of you guys don't know that but the economy is hitting me pretty hard and I have 
unfortunately had to dip into a lot of savings of mine stocks have been plummeting so I'm kinda of screwed there so money is actually pretty tight for me right now so I will be holding off on doing some reviews for a while because I'm not gonna be buying a lot of figures I will probably be buying some here in November but and that's right around the corner so look forward to that but the new camera is very exciting I'm very excited to bring you guys new reviews you guys have stuck with me it's been a year I've been on YouTube now officially a year Saturday was my one year birthday so woo, happy birthday so I want to thank everybody who's tuned in I now almost have 1500 subscribers I can't believe I got that many and you guys are fantastic this is all for you guys so I'm finally upgrading my camera hopefully to give you guys better reviews and bring you more outstanding fun and excitement so until next time guys this is Optobotomous again saying thank you from the bottom of my heart you guys are terrific I do this for you guys and well and for me too I don't know so also in the comments right down here I want you guys to let me know do you guys want me to do one of those um, a lot, of, a lot of the guys are doing it right now, getting inside the mind of a Transformer fan or something like that. One of those type of chain letters asking, why do you collect? Do you collect for play or whatever? In the comments, right down here, let me know if you want me to do that. And if I get enough, I'll do one for you guys. So until next time, guys, this is Optobotomous. Again, saying thank you and talk to you later. Yeah, yeah, I understand about